These past few months I've been pretty quiet on social media for a couple of reasons. One of the main reasons is I've been too busy listening to the voices of doubt in my head and holding back from posting. I often think no one will find these images interesting so I don't tend to post it. I know this is totally the wrong thought process and so that's why I'm changing. I often listen to our man Gary V and he constantly says don't give a fuck about what other people say and this can sometimes be easier said than done. Well, for me anyway. So I've created myself a strategy, a way to dig myself out of self-doubt, a rut. One way to get out of this rut is just to go out and create, create for me. So Ames and I decided to go and do a bit of a sunrise mission at a local forest. The day we originally planned to go for a shoot, we woke to a dark cloud and pouring rain and decided to postpone it for till the next day. And like the song goes, what a difference a day makes. What a difference a day made. 24 little hours. Hey morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, it's currently, what's the time? Six o'clock in the morning. We've done a bit of a roadie trip to do a bit of a photo shoot and some video this morning out in the forest for a sunrise. I want to capture some cool footage, so I've got Ames here with me. Here she is here in the background there. As my model today. And so we're gonna do some cool little footage. I just wanna do some practice of taking photos and do some video. And Ames needs some photos for her um, portfolio as well. So we're gonna do that this morning and hopefully get some bit of beach shots as well. So we're doing two themes, so a bit of forest theme and uh, beach theme. So let's go. I'll stay here and you can stand on that thing there. Yeah, I reckon that'll be cool. Got heaps of trees behind you at a good height. So, yeah, so it looks quite cool behind the camp, behind in the lens, because you've got all these trees and stuff behind you. You had a good height there. Yeah, and you get some real cool, because even like that, you can get all these trees and stuff up here look quite cool okay cool let's do it oh look at that sunset coming through sun right there. that looks awesome um so what we're trying to do is do a bit of location so we found the spot slightly risen and with a whole lot of trees in the background as well and we've got the sun coming up so sun rising just over here to my left and what we're trying to hope for is that the light comes beaming through the the trees and create some sort of sun rays um, effect coming through. So really hoping on that, but um, cool little spot. So I'm gonna go into GoPro mode now. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on and show you sort of behind the scenes footage and maybe cut to a few other different angles as well, just to sort of give you behind the scenes look of doing a photo shoot and, and a, a videography shoot as well. We'll get into it now. Okay, let's go. Oh man, so it looks like the cable had come out of the camera for the microphone, so um, lost all the audio for the next remainder of the vlog. So, but I'll just explain over top of it, over top of the video, what we what I was talking about. So we've got Ames to do a quick outfit change from her green swimwear into her white swimwear, just so she stood out in the photos a little bit more. And in this section here, I was talking about my camera settings. Now, I dialed in my camera to an ISO 500 because I know my camera doesn't perform very well. Um, anything above that it creates a lot of digital noise 
From there, I went and used an aperture of f4 because I wanted Ames to be in full focus rather than if I had a real low aperture, she would have been out of focus in some spots. So I kept it on f4 and then I really dialed down my um, shutter speed. So because the shutter speed was going to be open a lot longer than usual, I was best to have it on a tripod like I've got here. What I also did was also set a two second timer so I wouldn't bump it or anything like that when I pushed down the, the button. So having the uh, tripod really helped with that as well. Okay, cool. So I hope you got a few tips out of that. So remembering your ISO, with my camera I know for a Canon 70D, I can't have it too high because otherwise it creates a lot of digital noise. So making sure your ISO is at a good level. Um, your aperture, so I had it at f4. I didn't want to go too low because um, it creates a, some of your um, subject goes out of focus. So I had it about an f4. And then with your um, shutter speed, have it a little bit longer. Um, so you get a lot more light coming in through the lens and onto the sensor. The best way to do that is having a, a tripod and then putting on a two second timer so there's no chance of bumping your, your camera and making your, your image blurred as well. Cool, so there's some tips there. All right, let's go back to the vlog. guys thanks so much for watching i hope you got some benefit out of that one if this is something you're into feel free to hit the like and subscribe button i'm um, actually on my way to do a photography course it's a week-long intensive photography course so today's day one um, i'm going to share my learnings along the way so if this is something you're into feel free to hit the subscribe button because i'm going to share a lot more videos about photography and videography and other bits and pieces as well like creating micro content so um if this is something you want to learn more about, I would love to take you along the journey with me. So I'll see you in the next one.